Hi, my name is Kristen Thomas. I'm an RN with the Clinical Performance Excellence Department with Health Texas Provider Network. This is Jennifer Ivey. She's a clinical supervisor with our residency clinic in Garland, and she's here to help me with my presentation today. I'm going to talk to you about personal protective equipment, also known as PPE. PPE refers to protective clothing or equipment that keeps you protected against blood or body fluids that could be infectious and cause a potential exposure. PPE includes gowns, gloves, goggles, masks, hair covers, and shoe covers, and also a rubber band to secure your hair. Donning is putting on PPE, and doffing is taking off PPE. There are lots of situations that you would want to use PPE for, some of which are managing and caring for a patient that you might be exposed to blood or body fluids, cleaning up a hazardous spill, assisting with a procedure that could also expose you to potential body fluids, and as something as simple as refilling a liquid nitrogen spray device. You ask the question, is there a form available to follow when putting on and taking off PPE? Yes, there is. You can find this form on the Baylor Policy and Procedure Library under Health Texas Provider Network Standard Precautions Policy. It is very important that you know that donning and doffing checklist is for screening purposes only. It's critical that you have a buddy present when you take off PPE. And you also want to be sure to put on and take off PPE the same way every time. Employees can put on the PPE by themselves without a buddy. It is important to remove all your jewelry. You want to remove earrings that are dangling. You will want to remove rings. Also necklaces. You want to remove anything and everything that could potentially cause an exposure. Your name badges need to come off. Also, any loose clothing, such as this scarf, sweaters, scrub jackets, and anything else that's loose and could cause any kind of potential exposure. You also want to secure your hair. If you have longer hair, you will secure it in the back with a rubber band, and then you'll secure it into the cap and into the back of the gown. Remember, the employee must have a buddy when taking off PPE, and you must move slowly and methodically when removing the PPE and follow the steps as your buddy explains them. The equipment that you will need to put on to take off PPE is you will need two pair of gloves. I suggest whatever size that you wear, you will want to wear a size larger You'll know why as soon as we do a demonstration. You will also need a pair of boot covers. You will need a surgical gown. You'll need a bouffant, a hair cover, and a mask and goggles or face shield. You will also need hand cleanser, a buddy, and a chair. I will now demonstrate how to put on and take off PPE. These are boot covers. You'll have one pair. You will need to start by putting these on one by one. Remember, you can put on PPE without a buddy. Put it on at your desk, outside the patient's room. Make sure when you put this on that you tuck your clothes inside and pull the boot cover up just below the knee. And then you'll repeat on the other foot. Tuck your pants in or scrub bottoms and pull up all the way to underneath the knee. The next step will be putting on a gown. The gown will go on front to back. You want to make sure that you cover your sleeves. Don't pull your cuffs up. You'll leave those over your hands. You'll need someone to help you secure the gown. And you'll go ahead and secure that around to the front using the ties.
and making sure that the folds are out and that you are completely covered. Next, you will put on a mask with a face shield. Again, if you do not have a mask that has a face shield attached, you can do it separately with a mask and a pair of goggles. This will go on over your ears. You'll want to stretch the bottom of the mask underneath the chin and form it to your nose. You will also want to put on a bouffant. You want to cover your hair in the top part of your head. In the event you have longer hair, you'll want to secure it with a rubber band and tuck it into the cap and behind the gown. Next step is I'm going to put on gloves. Before I put on gloves, I'm going to sanitize my hands and then put on a pair of gloves. When you put on the gloves, you want to make sure that you cover the cuff of the gown entirely. This will protect your skin and clothing from a possible exposure. Remember, whatever size of glove you wear, you'll want to go up a size larger. It'll make it much easier when removing the gown in the taking off process. Jennifer is going to help me now remove my personal protective equipment. Jennifer's first going to cleanse her hands before she puts on gloves. She's gonna put on gloves to assist me in removing my contaminated gown. It's very critical that the procedure be completed while viewed by a buddy or observer. Move slowly and methodically to prevent contamination. Buddy unties gown. Screener removes gown and gloves and roll inside out. Look up to avoid contamination. I am going to untie my gown. My buddy is going to remove my gown from the back. I'm gonna hold my hands out front with my head up as he or she pushes my gown forward over my shoulders. You will want to grab on the outside of the gown up by your arms. And as you pull off, be sure to hold the gown away from you and pull your gloves off at the same time. This is why having that larger size on makes it a little easier in the removal process. You will fold the gown and dispose of it into a biohazard waste container. My buddy is going to remove her gloves because we have taken off the contaminated gown. Sanitize hands. My buddy is now going to continue with the steps of removing PPE. Next step, remove face shield, utilizing strap behind head. Front of shield is contaminated. I'm going to take my fingers and come up over my ears to remove my mask. Make sure that you do not flick this off. You want to lay it to the side and put it in the biohazard waste. Sanitize hands. Remove bouffant by grasping at back of head. I will come behind my head and remove the bouffant over my head, not flicking it, and throw it into the biohazard trash. Sanitize hands again. The next step is to don clean gloves. This is the reason that you will have two pair of gloves in the beginning as part of your equipment. To remove boot covers, run hands inside boot cover about five inches, pinch material inside and roll over to make a cuff. Keep hands inside and push down leg, under heel and off. As my buddy said, I'm going to put a finger down into my cover to open it up to put my hands down into the boot cover about five inches. I'm gonna pinch and form a cuff. Your buddy is watching to make sure that you do not expose yourself to blood or body fluid or hazardous material. You will only touch the inside of the boot cover. 
and dispose of it into the biohazard trash. Wipe gloves with bleach wipes and repeat removal with other boot. In this state, you can either change gloves altogether and use a fresh pair of gloves, or you will use a bleach wipe to cleanse your hands. I've chosen to use a bleach wipe to cleanse my hands. Once my hands are dry, I'll repeat with the other boot cover. Make sure that you open the boot cover with one finger and slip your hands down inside the boot cover five inches, forming a cuff as you fold down. Your buddy is making sure that you are only touching the inside of the boot, protecting yourself from a potential exposure. Discard boot covers in biohazard container and remove gloves slowly with glove and glove technique. At this point, I stand up out of the chair. You do not want to take the risk of dropping a glove in your lap when taking them off. The glove and glove procedure is grabbing the glove from the, outs from the outside, folding it into the other hand and slipping a finger down on the inside of the glove and removing it. This will get discarded into the biohazard trash. Sanitize hands. This concludes my demonstration and presentation on personal protective equipment. Thank you. Mm -hmm.